Welcome to Astronomical Secrets, the channel that unravels the cosmic enigmas surrounding us. Today, we'll dive into one of the universe's greatest mysteries, dark matter and its impact on galaxies. Prepare for a fascinating journey into the unknown, where the invisible shapes the visible and challenges our understanding of the cosmos. In this episode, we'll explore how this enigmatic substance influences the structure and behavior of galaxies, revealing secrets that have intrigued astronomers for decades. Imagine observing a majestic spiral galaxy, its arms filled with stars gracefully spinning in space. At first glance, Everything seems to move in perfect harmony. However, there's something intriguing about this cosmic choreography. The stars at the edges of the galaxy move much faster than they should, considering only the visible mass. It's as if an invisible force keeps them together, defying the laws of physics as we know them. This phenomenon, first observed in the 1930s by astronomer Fritz Zwicky, was the first indication of the existence of dark matter. Zwicky was studying the Coma Cluster, a vast collection of galaxies. He noticed that the galaxies in this cluster moved much faster than expected, suggesting the presence of additional invisible mass. To explain his observations, Zwicky proposed the existence of what he called dark matter, dunkel materia in German. At the time, Zwicky's idea was met with skepticism by the scientific community. After all, how could something so abundant remain invisible? However, this discovery laid the foundation for one of the greatest revolutions in modern astronomy, paving the way for a completely new understanding of the universe. Let's fast forward a few decades to the 1970s, when astronomer Vera Rubin and her collaborator Kent Ford made crucial observations that solidified the concept of dark matter. They meticulously studied the rotation curves of galaxies, which show how the velocity of stars varies with distance from the galactic center. The expectation was that as we moved away from the center of the galaxy, the velocity of stars would decrease following Kepler's laws of planetary motion. After all, the farther from the center, the lesser should be the gravitational influence of the mass concentrated there. However, what Rubin and Ford observed was surprising. The rotation curves remained practically flat. Stars in the outer regions moved as fast as those closer to the center. This observation led to a revolutionary conclusion. There must be a substantial amount of invisible matter distributed throughout the galaxy extending far beyond the visible disk. This dark matter provides the extra gravity needed to keep stars in their rapid orbits, even at the edges of the galaxy. To understand the magnitude of this discovery, consider this. Rubin and Ford's observations suggested that visible matter, stars, gas, and dust, constituted only about 10% to 20% of the total mass of a typical galaxy. The rest, an overwhelming 80% to 90%, was composed of this mysterious dark matter. Based on these observations, astronomers developed a new model for the structure of galaxies. Beyond the luminous disk we see, galaxies are enveloped in a vast halo of dark matter. This halo extends far beyond the visible limits of the galaxy, possibly up to 10 times the radius of the galactic disk. The dark matter halo not only influences the movement of stars, but also plays a crucial role in the formation and evolution of galaxies. It acts as a gravitational skeleton, providing the necessary structure for gas and stars to accumulate and form the galaxies we observe. Computer simulations show that without dark matter, galaxies would have difficulty forming and maintaining their structure over cosmic time. The dark halo acts as a protective cocoon helping the galaxy resist the disruptive forces of encounters with other galaxies and maintaining its structural integrity. This invisible halo also explains why galaxies don't tear apart due to their rapid rotation. The additional gravity provided by dark matter acts as a cosmic glue, keeping galaxies cohesive even when they spin at speeds that would otherwise tear them apart. Moreover, the dark matter halo plays a fundamental role in the interaction between galaxies. When two galaxies approach each other, their dark matter halos interact long before their visible parts touch. This gravitational interaction can trigger waves of star formation and shape the final morphology of merging galaxies. The influence of dark matter extends far beyond individual galaxies. On even larger scales, 
It shapes the very structure of the universe. Large-scale observations reveal that galaxies are not randomly distributed in the cosmos. Instead, they form an intricate network of filaments and clusters, separated by vast voids. This cosmic web is a direct consequence of the distribution of dark matter in the early universe. Small fluctuations in the density of dark matter, amplified by gravity over billions of years, form the seeds for this large-scale structure. The filaments of the cosmic web, composed primarily of dark matter, act as cosmic highways, guiding the flow of gas and galaxies. At the intersections of these filaments, we find the largest galaxy clusters in the universe, true nodes in the cosmic web. This large-scale structure has profound implications for our understanding of the evolution of the universe. The distribution of dark matter directly influences where and how galaxies form. Regions with higher dark matter density attract more gas leading to the formation of larger and brighter galaxies. On the other hand, the vast empty regions between the filaments, known as voids, are areas of low dark matter density, where few galaxies form. Cosmological simulations that incorporate dark matter reproduce with remarkable precision the large-scale structure we observe in the real universe. This success is one of the strongest arguments for the existence of dark matter and its fundamental role in cosmology. Before we continue our journey through the dark universe, I'd like to make a special request. If you're enjoying this video and want more content about the secrets of the cosmos, don't forget to subscribe to the Astronomical Secrets channel. Give this video a like and leave a comment with your thoughts on dark matter. Your interaction helps us reach more curious people like you. Now, let's return to our fascinating invisible universe. One of the most impressive effects of dark matter can be observed in a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. When light from distant galaxies or quasars passes near large concentrations of mass, such as galaxy clusters, it is deflected and distorted, creating multiple images or luminous arcs in the sky. The fascinating thing is that the amount of observed distortion is much greater than would be expected considering only the visible matter in the clusters. This provides compelling evidence for the presence of dark matter, which significantly contributes to the total mass of the cluster. Gravitational lensing not only confirms the existence of dark matter, but also allows us to map its distribution. By carefully analyzing the distortions in the images of background galaxies, astronomers can create detailed maps of the distribution of dark matter in galaxy clusters and on even larger cosmic scales. A notable example of this phenomenon is the bullet cluster. This system, the result of a collision between two galaxy clusters, provides some of the most direct evidence for the existence of dark matter. Observations show that during the collision, the hot gas from the clusters, most of the visible baryonic matter, was slowed down and separated from the galaxies. However, most of the mass, detected through gravitational lensing, passed straight through without being affected by the collision. This is exactly what we would expect if most of the mass were composed of dark matter, which only interacts with normal matter through gravity. Despite its impressive indirect evidence, the exact nature of dark matter remains one of the biggest enigmas in modern physics. We know that it doesn't interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation, making it literally invisible to our telescopes. Several theories attempt to explain what dark matter could be. One of the most popular candidates is weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. These hypothetical particles would interact only through the weak force and gravity, explaining why they are so difficult to detect. The WIMP theory is attractive for several reasons. First, it arises naturally from extensions of the standard model of particle physics such as supersymmetry. Second, WIMPs could have been produced in the right amount during the Big Bang to explain the abundance of dark matter we observe today. This concept is known as the WIMP miracle. Another possibility is actions. Very light particles originally proposed to solve a problem in particle physics, but which could also explain dark matter. Axions are attractive because, like WIMPs, they arise from theories that attempt to solve other problems in physics offering an elegant solution to multiple questions. There are even more exotic theories, such as primordial black holes or extra dimensions of space-time. The idea of primordial black holes as dark matter proposes that a population of very small black holes 
could have formed in the first moments of the universe. These black holes would be heavy enough to explain dark matter, but too small to be easily detected. The theory of extra dimensions suggests that gravity may be stronger on very small scales, explaining its apparent weakness on larger scales. In this scenario, dark matter particles could interact more strongly with gravity, explaining their observed behavior. The search for direct detection of dark matter is one of the most active areas in particle physics and astrophysics. Ultra-sensitive underground experiments such as Xenon-1T in Italy and Lux Zeppelin in the United States attempt to capture the rare interactions between dark matter particles and normal matter. These detectors are engineering masterpieces, designed to be incredibly sensitive to extremely rare interactions. They are usually located deep underground to protect them from background cosmic radiation. The basic principle is simple. If a dark matter particle collides with an atom in the detector, it should produce a small flash of light or an electric charge that can be detected. So far, None of these experiments have detected an unequivocal signal of dark matter. However, each new experiment pushes the limits of our sensitivity, ruling out certain theories and refining our understanding of what dark matter may or may not be. In parallel, large particle accelerators, such as the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, seek to create dark matter particles in high-energy collisions. The idea is that if dark matter particles exist, and have masses accessible to modern accelerators, they could be produced in high-energy collisions. Although we cannot directly detect these particles, we could infer their presence by the missing energy in the collision products. Beyond terrestrial experiments, astronomers are also on the hunt. Space and ground-based telescopes search for indirect signals of dark matter, such as gamma rays produced by the annihilation of dark matter particles in high-density regions like the center of the Milky Way. While most astronomers accept the existence of dark matter as the best explanation for the observations, some scientists propose alternative theories. The most prominent is Modified Newtonian Dynamics, or MOND, proposed by Israeli physicist Mordechai Milgram in 1983. MOND suggests that Newton's laws of gravity need to be modified on galactic scales, eliminating the need for dark matter. According to this theory, gravity behaves differently when the accelerations involved are very small, as is the case at the edges of galaxies. One of the advantages of MOND is that it naturally explains the observed relationship between a galaxy's luminosity and its rotation speed, known as the Tully-Fisher relation. This relationship is a challenge for dark matter models, which need fine-tuning to explain it. However, MOND faces significant challenges. Although it works well for individual galaxies, it has difficulties explaining observations on larger scales, such as galaxy clusters and the large-scale structure of the universe. Additionally, MOND cannot fully explain phenomena such as the bullet cluster, which provides compelling evidence for the existence of dark matter. Other alternative theories include emergent gravity and modified gravity theories on larger scales. These approaches attempt to explain the observations attributed to dark matter by modifying our understanding of gravity at different scales or conditions. Although these alternative theories face significant challenges, they play an important role in the scientific community. They challenge conventional thinking, encourage rigorous testing of the dark matter paradigm, and remind us of the importance of keeping an open mind to alternative explanations in science. The implications of dark matter extend to the distant future of the cosmos. Recent observations suggest that the universe is not only expanding but accelerating its expansion due to a mysterious dark energy. The interaction between dark matter and dark energy will determine the final fate of the universe. In one scenario, known as the Big Freeze or Heat Death, dark matter will continue to form ever larger structures, while dark energy drives the expansion of space between them. Eventually, distant galaxies will disappear from view, leaving each group of galaxies isolated in a vast, dark void. As the universe continues to expand and cool, the formation of new stars will gradually decrease. Black holes will become the dominant objects, swallowing up the remaining matter. However, even black holes will eventually evaporate through Hawking radiation, leaving a cold, dark, and virtually empty universe. Alternatively, if the nature of dark energy changes over time, we could face a big-rip scenario, 
where the accelerated expansion of the universe becomes so intense that it tears apart even atoms. Or, if the expansion slows down, we could have a big crunch, with the universe collapsing back in on itself. Dark matter plays a crucial role in all these scenarios. Its distribution and behavior will influence the rate of cosmic structure formation and how they will resist the expansion of the universe. Understanding the nature of dark matter is, therefore, essential not only to understand the past and present of the universe, but also to predict its distant future. The discovery of dark matter revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos and continues to shape modern astronomy in profound ways. It forced us to recognize that most of the universe is composed of something we cannot directly see, challenging our intuition and reminding us of the vastness of the unknown. In cosmology, dark matter is an essential component of the standard model, known as the Lambda CDM, Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model. This model, which includes cold dark matter and dark energy, represented by the cosmological constant lambda, has been incredibly successful in explaining a wide range of cosmological observations, from the large-scale structure of the universe to fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background radiation. In galactic astrophysics, dark matter has profound implications for our understanding of the formation and evolution of galaxies. It explains the stability of spiral galaxies, the dynamics of galaxy clusters, and provides the gravitational skeleton necessary for the formation of the first structures in the early universe. The search for dark matter has also driven significant technological advances. The ultra-sensitive detectors developed for direct detection of dark matter have applications that go beyond particle physics, including nuclear medicine and natural resource exploration. Despite decades of intensive research, the exact nature of dark matter remains one of the biggest mysteries in modern science. Each new observation and experiment brings us a little closer to the answer, but the puzzle is far from complete. Solving the enigma of dark matter will likely require a combination of approaches, increasingly precise astronomical observations, more sensitive particle physics experiments, and theoretical advances in our fundamental understanding of physics. As the search continues, one thing is certain. The discovery of the nature of dark matter will be one of the greatest revolutions in the history of science. It will not only transform our understanding of the universe, but may also open doors to new technologies and applications that we cannot yet imagine. Dark matter, though invisible, leaves its indelible mark on the cosmos we observe. From the movements of stars in our galaxies to the large-scale structure of the universe, its influence is ubiquitous. Each new observation and experiment brings us a little closer to unraveling this cosmic enigma. The journey to understand dark matter is a testament to the human inquisitive spirit and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's a reminder that even in an era of remarkable scientific advances, there are still fundamental mysteries to be solved. As we continue our quest, it's important to remember that science is an ongoing process of discovery and revision. Theories we consider solid today may be refined or even replaced as new evidence emerges. This is the beauty and challenge of science. We are always at the frontier of knowledge, pushing the boundaries of what we know and understand. The story of dark matter teaches us the importance of careful observation, critical thinking, and the willingness to question our most basic assumptions. It reminds us that some of the most important discoveries in science come from observing and trying to explain seemingly small anomalies in our data. As scientists around the world continue their tireless search, one thing is certain, the discovery of the nature of dark matter will be one of the greatest revolutions in the history of science, redefining our understanding of the universe and our place in it. If you were fascinated by this journey through the dark side of the cosmos, don't forget to subscribe to the Astronomical Secrets channel. Leave your like on this video and share your theories about dark matter in the comments. Who knows? The next big idea that will revolutionize our understanding of the universe might come from you. Until the next video, where we'll continue to explore the deepest secrets of the cosmos, the universe is vast and mysterious, and together, we can illuminate even its darkest parts. Remember, in science, questions are as important as answers, and the mystery of dark matter invites us to keep asking, exploring, and marveling at the wonders of the cosmos.